It's been six weeks since 71-year-old Fernando Canlis went missing. It was on Thursday morning, April 8th at around 10 a.m. when he was last seen wearing a white t-shirt, basketball shorts, and one red and white slipper near the jungle area right behind Jigo Peles. He's battling rectal cancer and has dementia. He's a father of two sons and two daughters and has been married to his wife for over 40 years. Callis's youngest daughter, Annalyn Gagarin. We're still hanging on to every bit of hope, um, you know, only because we haven't found anything. But in any case, um, you know, with this, that with his case being already over a month and nothing has been found, we just want him to be found in any condition, to be honest, um, just so we can have a closure um, and also just to have a peace of mind. Gagarin says that GPD, GFD, the Guam National Guard and volunteers have done everything they can do. Everybody has done their part, um, even up to this day, um, in searching for him, but still, unfortunately, we haven't found anything. She shares that her father, Canlis, is also known as Andoy or Andy in the construction industry. All his working relationship with um, not only the construction workers, but the homeowners that um, he's built relationship with have, you know, been um, really reaching out to us and letting us know, you know, how great my dad was um, as a colleague, as a friend, and, you know, somebody, somebody who's always there to um, help out, even after he completed um house anytime they would need him they would they would call him and almost immediately he would be there i recall my dad um being such a hard worker you know always um taught us to appreciate what we have and for those watching gagarin makes a plea i am reaching out to the entire community of guam to continue to look out um for my dad his poster has been post his um picture has been posted all over the island um and if you can please continue to be on the lookout for him. GBD spokesperson Sergeant Paul Tapal said that the case remains open and is still seeking community help and locating Canlis. If you have any information that will lead to Canlis's whereabouts, please contact GPD or call 911. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusi Isaiah Uggen.